Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Beginner's Guide. This time it's going to be a two-part subject. We're going to talk about sniper basic training. This is part one. Um, there will be another uh, part two and maybe even a part three, we'll see. Um, now any tank can play sniper. That is a, a fact of life. Anybody can stick at the back of the map, use their their gun and shoot and act like a sniper. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about tanks that by design are only designed to be snipers. Tanks that have no armor, they have no hit points, and they can be HE by anybody from by anybody in the map and from anywhere in the map. And these are the tanks I'm talking about. So tank selection, this is the Nash Horn. This is definitely one of the tanks that I would consider a sniper. It's a tier six. The tier seven is the Stur ML. That's another one. The, the German tier seven. Then we're gonna go into the RHM Borsig, which of course is the German tier eight. And this isn't a German video, although a lot of the German tanks on this thing are considered snipers. There's the Waffentrager Alf Panzer IV. Then there is, of course, the famous grill. grill. Um, so these are all German sniper tanks. Um, there's also one I would add, I don't have a picture of, would be the the um, Scorpion. Here, of course, is the Death Star. That's a British one that would be a sniper. Yes, the ISU-152 is a sniper. I know the gun is not great, but that's definitely a sniper. And of course, that brings us to my favorite, the Scarface. Uh, that is definitely my favorite sniper tank. Okay guys, so let's talk about tank setup. Here we have the Scarface and um, we're gonna talk about everything and everything pretty much boils down to your personal preference. So what I'm showing you is my personal preference and I'm just gonna talk about the things that I think are important. As far as your consumables, that's gonna be personal preference on what you like. Um, I, I, I'm not, you know, there's another video on that and I'm not worried about that here. Same with um, provisions. Uh, as far as ammo is concerned, so I've got a pretty even split with ammo. I could probably reduce my HE a little bit down to, you know, six or seven shots and put those into AP because primarily I fire AP with this tank. The HE is not a significant gain in damage over the AP and the AP I find to be a lot more reliable. So, um, going into equipment slots. So on your top row, you have the calibrated shells and the um, gun rammer. So I like to go with the gun with the calibrated shells or the gun rammer. The gun rammer is nice and it gives you a almost a one second quicker reload, which is nice. And don't get me wrong, that is very nice to have. But a lot of times you're sitting waiting for a target to pop up. So in that aspect, I like the shells that I have to make sure that they go in. And I have, you know, look at the heat heat rounds, almost a, like is that 32 points bonus on going in to, to what you want. And and even the HE is another seven points. So on the, on the middle slot, you have the defense system or the, um, the other one that, that covers ramming and stuff like that. With having no armor in this tank and low hit points, I want everything to be survivable, especially from like ammo racks and fires and stuff. So the defense system is a lot better choice in that aspect. If you go into improved optics or the camo net, well, you're a sniper. If you're spotting, there's a problem. So you should be going with camo net here. It just makes a lot more sense to keep yourself as hidden as you can. You get a bonus of 15 points when you're hidden, seven points on the move, and even three points when you're firing the gun. So overall, for a sniper, the camo net is a lot better choice. If we move down to the middle row, at any point now, um, you have a choice of the enhanced gun laying drive or the supercharged. Enhanced gun laying drive helps you when your turret is just is finished moving. Again, as a sniper, I find that I am stationary looking for a target and a supercharge is going to help get that shell there a little quicker um, again here in the middle row i'm going with improved assembly because i want the hit points i have no hit points um, on the last row part on this row 
we have improved um, you know I'm going with the engine accelerator basically because it has a, a wider variety of bonuses over the other one that just you know it doesn't it doesn't help as much it has a good bonus but um, again engine assembly helps everything on the bottom row we have the vertical stabilizer or the refined gun again I'm choosing refined gun over vertical stabilizer because the vertical stabilizer is helping after you have moved and with aiming time and refined gun I'm already parked I'm waiting for a shot and I want that bonus there on the middle row you have tracks or toolbox my personal preference is toolbox and again it's personal preference based on what you have and what you're using um, I have my crew repair skills as max so I feel I get the best usage out of the toolbox going over to the last row at any second now you have the cons the high-end consumables or the or the consumable delivery system so I my personal choice and again everything on these last two is personal choice I want to get my stuff back as quickly as possible. I don't want to extend things. I could see that there'd be an advantage in extending like the uh, adrenaline, but again, um, I'm good with what I have. So we'll move on to the next part here, but basically that's my tank setup, guys. Okay, guys, real briefly, I want to touch on the sniper awards. There's actually two in game. The first one is the sniper, and that's the more common one you're going to get. And that's for 85% hit rate with at least 10 shots and 1,000 damage. Like I said, that one's easier to get. The second one and the more coveted one is the Sniper Tanker Award. This one is a lot tougher to get. And what you're going to get, you need to get it, is you need to have the most damage in battle at a distance of at least 250 meters. You need at least 8 shots fired from that range. You need at least 80% um, 80% of your shots must deal damage. 85% accuracy or better across those shots you fired from that range. And last, the damage dealt must be greater than the player, your player, your vehicle, or 1,000 damage. Okay, guys, let's get into a game here. I'm going to be in my Scarface. We're going to be on Canal. And I'm going to go over my top eight tips that I want to cover in this in this part one video. First off, you need to know your spot before the game starts. Have a couple of spots in mind to snipe from um, based on what's in front of you and where your guys are going on your team. You need to have a couple of spaces in mind before the game starts. You don't want to be lost and look like you don't know what you're doing. Number two, the spots you choose should have some kind of cover to help your consumer value a bush or a tree you can knock down anything like that will help your consume up value if you knock a tree down it counts just like a bush once you're behind it number three you need to keep a couple of escape routes in mind for your spot now here where i'm heading i'm gonna head up to this hill behind the uh, a base here and on top of that hill i have two routes which i can go down which using the hill i can gain momentum and it helps me get out of dodge pretty quickly if i get spotted Number four, you need to set up where you can support your team. It is a complete waste of time to set somewhere if you don't have shots. I'll cover this again in a couple minutes, but if you don't have shots, move, get out of there. Number five, watch your team for targets and a chance to support them. This is your bread and butter. If you see a guy out there and he's fighting somebody and you can put a shot into the target he's facing, like I'm doing right now, then that guy might know that, hey, there's somebody here helping me. I'm going to try and back up and pull this guy into a firing range so the sniper can hit him. Um, if you don't have somebody, if you don't have any shots, but your team's all in front of you, you can always type into chat and call for, for spots. Hey, guys, spot for me or something. You'll be surprised. Sometimes you get some really good players that'll, that'll hit affirmative and try and get some spots for you. Um, number six be alert you need to watch your mini map as a sniper uh, tanks getting too close especially in mediums will have a better view, view range than what you're expecting and remember once that light bulb goes off you've already been spotted for four seconds number seven and this one really bothers me snipe don't camp 
If you're sitting on top of a spot, you have no shots and you're just sitting there waiting, you're not sniping or camping. You're not helping anybody by sitting near the campfire with marshmallows and a hot dog out on a stick. You're not helping anybody. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your team's time. Um, last, you need to know when to push. You've At this point, you've saved your HP. You've hit all the targets you can. The other team is running out of players. You're running out of players. It's time to push down and start helping out like I am right here. I'm pushing down. I see this tank coming at my guy he's trying to flank him boom look at that put a shot into his ass that's what you need to be doing snipe as long as you can and then push and get out there and help i'm going to run up here behind this guy and he's already been hit and killed uh it's now a three on two point if i'm up there on that hill not helping my guy's getting killed and what good does that do that ends up all of a sudden in a uh three on one I can't kill people. I can't kill three tanks. Even if they're three one shots, chances are they're going to reload faster than me. So I want to get down here. I'm going to try to keep my partner alive. We're now down. We're now up one tank or sorry. We're now tied two two. I'm pushing up here to help this, this, uh, my tank kill this IS three. I have a medium tank behind me. Who's putting shots into me. I'm trying to get around this building to get some cover. The IS-3, we're going to get another shot in him right here. And there, he's dead. Now, unfortunately for the medium tank that's up there capping the base, he runs out of time and we went on cap points. So guys, just to review, remember, know your spots before you start the game. Make sure you have cover. Keep a couple of escape routes in mind. Set up where you can support your team. Watch for targets and the chances to support your guys. Watch a mini map and be alert. Don't get spotted and hang out and not do anything. For God's sakes, don't camp. And last, remember, when it's time to push, push. Don't stay up there wasting your time and blowing it. Hey guys, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one.